Have you ever heard Billy Sheehan playing some of those crazy pinched harmonics? Or maybe Jaco Pastorius playing Birdland? Well, I've got a full lesson on pinched harmonics on YouTube from almost a decade ago, giving you a complete guided tour of how to play them as well as some other more straightforward harmonic techniques. I'll link to those lessons in the info below, but today I'm just going to give you a very quick and easy idiot proof guide to getting pinched harmonics without all of the hassle of learning every node on the string. Yes, that's still the better all round way to learn, but if you just want a surefire way of getting an ear shattering harmonic, with less than, a, you know, a minute's practice, then this is the lesson for you. So, first things first, we need to quickly run through the technique. When we make a regular natural harmonic, we lightly touch the string at a certain magical place called a node. So we find a node, so there's one here at the 12th fret, we lightly touch the string with the fretting hand, then we pluck the string, and we release the finger. So we don't need any hands there at all. We don't push the string down at all. This isn't like fretting a, a regular note, we just touch the string lightly with the finger on the node with the fretting hand, we pluck and release, okay? If you want some easy nodes to practice with, try directly over the 12th fret, 7th fret, or the 5th fret. There are a bunch of other nodes all over the fretboard, and I won't bother you with all the theory behind overtones or the harmonic series here, because it's all there in that other lesson. That's a bigger deep dive into this. Just practice getting harmonics down, first of all, on those frets. And that'll be a preliminary requirement for this lesson sorted. Okay, next up, let's try a pinched harmonic. Now, the technique here is basically going to consist of touching the string like we did before with this hand, but with a pinched harmonic, we're going to use the thumb of the picking hand, and we're going to pick with one of the other fingers. So everything that we did before with two hands, we're going to do with one. And if you take a look at that picking hand, if I just play a pinched harmonic up here, it looks like we're pinching the string between the thumb and the finger, hence the name pinched harmonic. To practice this technique, we want to pick a node that we know is going to work well with the pinch. On a 20 fret bass, like this precision, go for the 19th fret of the G string, so it's going to be that, uh, that third marker there past the 12th fret. On a 24 fret bass, try the 24th fret. So you want a node that you know is going to work, so first of all, just take that 19th fret there and try playing a natural harmonic, so just a regular old harmonic, and you know that that is what it's supposed to sound like. Next, try laying the thumb of the picking hand lightly against the string at that point over the 19th fret. So you just place that thumb there and then just use the index finger to pluck. So I tend to pluck up into the hand when I do this. After plucking, you can move the thumb. But don't move too early, otherwise you're going to mess it up. So pluck and then move. So that's a pinched harmonic. Now in the previous lesson on pinched harmonics, I showed you how to work out all of the different notes on a string. And that's a good way to learn harmonics. And a quick tip on doing this, you want to fret the G string at the 12th fret. So you play that G there, so you're going to be fretting it with that index finger. And then you want to seek out the harmonic an octave higher. Now on a precision, it's going to be somewhere between the neck and the pickup. So it's going to be roughly around there. So if you work up, nothing there, there's that harmonic, okay? So once you've got that harmonic, that's the octave of that G at the 12th fret, then you can try working up, working out the octave positions for each of those notes. As you work out those remaining octave harmonics, you can relate them to positions on the bass like the edges of the pickup. So for that C there at the 17th fret, you can see there it's roughly around this edge of the pickup. And then if you were to hold a chord, you can get these nice little harmonic chords like this. So I can see that that C there is here then, 
Okay. So, like I said, that's all covered in the previous lesson, but today let's just look at a surefire way to get some great harmonics without all of that prep. Now, the secret to this is to just pluck the pinched harmonics somewhere around the bridge area. Okay, so somewhere around here. On a jazz bass, it's going to be anywhere between the bridge pickup and the bridge. In there, no matter what note you fret in the left hand, you'll always find a harmonic of some kind. So if I fret the C at the fifth fret of the G string, I can just randomly pinch a harmonic somewhere around here, and here presto, we get something. This is very different from pinching accurate harmonics, maybe an octave or a, or a third or a fifth above the fretted note, you know, where you really need to be accurate. With these harmonics closer to the bridge, we don't need that accuracy. We're just going to get a harmonic of some kind. The reason for this is that there are many more harmonic nodes at either end of the string. If I work through the natural harmonics from the 12th fret to the note, just on a natural open G string, you'll hear that we have only a few nodes up here. So if I, there's the G, and then we don't get anything here. Slight ones here. There's one at the ninth fret, not too good, but then you get the seventh fret. You know, we work our way down. But then once you get past that fifth fret, you know, to the fourth, third fret and below, there's many more in very close proximity. That same set of harmonic nodes occur at the other end of the string too. We basically have a mirror image of the harmonics up to the 12th fret. So we've got that 12th fret and then we work down and they just work that way as they did this way. Because of this, we can pinch a harmonic anywhere in that zone close to the bridge and get something of note. No, we're not accurately creating octaves, fifths and thirds, it's just random. So you want to do this more when looking for harmonics as a, you know, a passing or flashy effect rather than a composed melodic choice. So this means that I can just noodle around some heart's content in the left hand, picking with the pinched harmonic technique for each note. Et voila, we get some cool sounds. Now, if you want to bring those harmonics out even more, I'd recommend a few things. If you have a two pickup bass, solo the bridge pickup, and also try to boost the mid slightly. That's gonna, that's gonna bring them out. Then if you have a compressor, get that cranked in order to even out the volume and boost the quieter harmonics. Then for ultimate harmonic squeal, add some overdrive or distortion. I'm using a Billy Sheehan overdrive pedal here, and we get this kind of sound. <laughs> So that's pinched harmonics. Give them a whirl if you want some cool effects in your solos, or if you ever get called to play Birdland. Okay, that's it for today. Remember to like the vid, subscribe to the channel, and check out the lesson map over at the Talking Bass website for over 600 free video lessons just like this one on every topic imaginable. They're all organized and systemized for ease of navigation, so go check it out, and I'll see you next week.